scheduled to start at 2 o'clock local time. Other games today, Central State at Kentucky State. Benedict is also at Lane. And you got Savannah State at Edward Waters. As Savannah State looks to cap off what has been a fantastic year for first-year head coach Sean Quinn. Unfortunately, Savannah State going undefeated in division play 5-0, but unable to compete for the championship. Kamari Danton here with James Crenshaw, our producer. Still, we still wait for the coin toss here in Atlanta. Some issues here in the stadium. And then when they do get resolved, we'll be back here to play a football game here, hopefully. Last time we were here, we had some issues with with power and uh, couldn't bring any action until uh, just before the end of the first half. And then uh, Savannah State, one of their big wins this year. They beat all of their teams, all their uh, opponents from the state of Georgia this year. Did Savannah State. I got to say that they are probably the biggest surprise of any team, maybe other than Kentucky State in the SIAC this season. Clark Atlanta was picked to finish fourth in the East. But it has not been a good year. Clark Atlanta, 0-9, 0-5 in conference play. Morehouse, they were picked to finish third in the East. They had 10 players on the preseason All-SIAC team, including Santo Dunn, who was the preseason offensive player of the year. Unfortunately, they finished. They are right now. They are three and six, one and four in conference play. Only conference win was against Kentucky State earlier this year, and of course the. Team is 0-3 against their rivals from Georgia. So today trying to end that particular streak here today. So again, issues with some with powers here at BT Harvey Stadium. Some uh, a big Saturday in, in college football, not just in Division Two, but also in Division One. We'll give you some of those scores here in the top 25. This is, well, now it's the college football playoff top 25 scoreboard. Currently right now, the biggest game of the early window, number one, Ohio State, with a 49 to nothing lead on Maryland in the third quarter. Minnesota is up 24 to 19 on Penn State. That is in the third quarter. Number 10, Florida, on top of Vanderbilt, 28 to nothing in the third quarter. Number 12, Baylor, trailing TCU, 9 to 3. That is headed into the fourth quarter. Defensive battle there in the Big 12. Number 25, SMU, after they lost to Memphis last week. They have a 35-34 lead on East Carolina. That is in that is in the third quarter. Later on, of course, the big showdown. Number two, LSU, at number three, Alabama. Also at 3.30, number 16, Kansas State visits Texas. Number 19, Wake Forest visits Virginia Tech. And number 20, Cincinnati takes on UConn. At 4 o'clock Eastern Time, number 18, Iowa will take on number 13, Wisconsin. 7 o'clock start time, Missouri will take on number 6, Georgia. Number 5, Clemson is at, four, is at NC State at 7.30, along with number 15, Notre Dame at Duke. At 8 o'clock, number 9, Oklahoma takes on Iowa State. At 10.15, Number 22, Boise State, takes on Wyoming. So we are in a delay right now. Clark Atlanta and Morehouse scoreless. Come back, we will hopefully have the kick off the corn toss for you. We'll take a break here. You're watching SIAC Football on Flow Sports. Back here in Atlanta, now we're ready for the coin toss. A little bit later than expected this afternoon. Senior day here at Morehouse College. You see Clark Atlanta there in the white uniforms, a little uh, red trim there on the, the shoulders, and of course all blacks for Morehouse. And looks like Clark Atlanta, I'm sorry, Morehouse won the toss. And uh, 
Let's see. So Morehouse won the toss. Looks like. Looks like Morehouse will receive the opening kickoff. So we will see either Jalen Brown or Michael Sims first for Morehouse. We'll see Clark Atlanta's defense, which has been up and down this season for the Panthers. But we're finally ready for some football here. This rivalry matchup. Atlanta University Center. Of course, you also have Spelman College out here, and as well as the Morehouse School of Medicine. A great atmosphere on a weekend that is uh, trying to be somber after you know, one o'clock Atlanta students, Alexis Crawford, was murdered this week. And certainly our thoughts are with her family as uh, there was a moment of silence uh, before the game for her. So hopefully, if her family is watching, that this will give them some comfort here for the next three hours and enjoy a football game. And, of course, everyone here at the AUC is family, so uh, without question, Morehouse is certainly extending its best wishes to the Crawford family as they go through what has got to be a devastating time. It's, a, it's something that's been in the news really the last few weeks with the, with the missing, uh, missing young ladies and young men. So hopefully this football game will give you some, give you a little bit of uh, comfort here this week. Got a great matchup here for you, Clark Atlanta and Morehouse. Clark Atlanta won this game 30 to 13 last year. Fernando Lobo to kick off for the the Panthers. And we are set to go. And this one will come down to the 12. And this is, looks like Reese Knuckles and Knuckles, a big hit of the 35-yard line, and that's where Morehouse will start its first offensive possession. We are actually ready to go. 14.52 left in the opening quarter. And the quarterback is Michael Sims, a left-hander, junior from Detroit. He's completed 57% of his passes. For just under 1,200 yards, he's thrown nine touchdowns to four interceptions. Might also see Jalen Brown today. Santo Dunn starts in the backfield. Three wide receivers to the near side. Gooden, good, good, good Chaba, and Knuckles to his left. And here comes Sims on first down. The throw is complete over the middle. And that's Gooden all the way out to the 48-yard line. And that's good for 13 yards. Good start for Michael Sims in this Morehouse offense. On this offensive line, looks like Kelvin Dennis, Miles Moore, Lee Humphrey, John Syriac, and Saban Baker for Morehouse. Miles Brown, the tight end, goes in motion. Sims again on first down. Under pressure, he throws. Pass is caught along the sideline. Reese Knuckles with his first catch. And that's good to the 46-yard line of Clark Atlanta. That's good for about seven yards. It'll be second and three. Sims two for two. Great to have you with us here at Morehouse on first down. Got to get it to around the 42. And Sims off the play fake. The ball is tipped in the air and it's picked off. Intercepted the 42-yard line. Joseph Culpepper, the linebacker, came over. And a, a huge play for Clark Atlanta. As Michael Sims throws his first pick of the game, his fifth of the season. And we'll get a chance to see Charles Stafford and this offense come back onto the field. Stafford is thrown for 2,266 yards, 18 touchdowns, and 12 interceptions. It has all been on the right arm of Charles Stafford this season as he has not gotten any help from the running game. And right out way, he throws on first down. That one almost intercepted. Well, that was tipped at the line by Demetrius Lofton, who's been all over the backfield this season. And it was almost a pick. Looks like Makai Page was the man that almost had himself an interception, so it'll be second and ten 
for this Clark Atlanta offense. Stafford again, right side, passes complete, and that's Christopher Ricks. And Ricks, senior from New Orleans, takes it out to the 44-yard line. And that is a pickup of three yards. It'll bring up third down and about seven. Stafford, 18 touchdowns, 12 interceptions on the year. On third down, Stafford, left side, pass is complete. An open man on the slant. That is good to Corey King, Jr. 46, 47-yard line of Morehouse. That is a first down. Stafford off to a good start. And good for nine yards for Corey King. Stafford. Hands off to Blackman, and Blackman takes it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. It's one of the best runs of the season for Clark Atlanta. They have just struggled running the football, and that one good for six yards. They will, will try to run the ball. They only averaged about 17 yards a game rushing the ball, and that's last in the league. Morehouse middle of the pack against the run, and we got movement everywhere. Stafford, they actually blew it dead. We got 12.34 left in the opening quarter. There's movement all over the place. And looks like it's going to be going against Morehouse, and that's going to be a first down. So Clark Atlanta trying to get first points, trying to get his first win here in six years. Off the penalty, first and 10 to the 35. Stafford, left side, down the sideline, incomplete. Tried to hit his favorite target this season, Kendall Wimberly. Sophomore from right here in Atlanta. He leads the team with 30 receptions for 433 yards. Neil Norman was the man on the coverage. It'll be second and 10 from the 35. Trips to the near side. Five wide outs, empty backfield for Stafford on this second down. Stafford, right side, up the sideline, has a man open. It comes in short, and the pass is complete. Trey Wilson, the tight end, made the catch. That one down to the 18-yard line. That one good for 17, and that's another first down. So Stafford, again, out to a fast start, throwing the football. Threw for 215 yards last week in the loss to Benedict. Stafford over the middle. Passes caught with flags are down. That's Ricks again. He's inside the 10. Still fighting for yards. He gets all the way down to the 7-yard line. It actually was Jonathan Sanders on the catch. Down to the seven. This will be offsides against the Maroon Tigers, so that will be a decline. And Stafford off to a great start already here in this ball game. So Sanders who has been in and out of the lineup this season. Four different players have already caught a pass from Stafford. On the seven-yard line, first and goal. Stafford lofts it in zone. Caught. Touchdown, Clark Atlanta. Van over on the coverage. Jonathan Sanders makes the catch. His second touchdown of the season. Back to back, back to back weeks, he's got a touchdown. And Clark Atlanta comes down the field after the interception, and they get the touchdown. A nine-play, 59-yard drive, 11.42 to play. That one took two, two minutes and 14 seconds. And Lobo's kick is good. We got flat. We got whistles. It's going to be a false start against Clark Atlanta. And the try will be redone. 
Well, Joseph Culpepper gets the pick. Josh Stafford takes his team down 59 yards in eight plays. And Jonathan Sanders back-to-back -back weeks with a touchdown reception. Although we'll try the extra point again from five yards further back. Snap comes in. The kick is on the way. And he knocks it through. So with 12, 11.42 to play in the first quarter. Clark Atlanta with a 7-0 lead on Morehouse. You're watching SIEC football on Flow Sports. Clark Atlanta with a 7-0 lead on Morehouse. We got another delay after... Looks like Lobo was going to kick the ball off to Morehouse. So a delay on the kickoff, and we've got another delay right now. As trying to find out what's going on. Well, Edwards, the interim athletic director, over to talk with the Clark Atlanta coach, Tim Bowens. So again, we've got two big games today to determine the SIAC championship. Right now, Miles with a 7-3 lead on Tuskegee. That game is early in the second quarter. And Fort Valley State and Albany State. That matchup still waiting to get kicked off. And at halftime, 14 nothing is the score as Kentucky State leads Central State. So again, Clark Atlanta, 7 nothing lead. Great drive by the Panthers. Trying to find out what this could possibly be about. This is the second time I've been delayed. Supposed to kick off at 2. Didn't kick off to about 2.25. Again, the Morehouse Maroon Tigers. Clark Atlanta Panthers trying to, trying to figure this thing out. find out what's going on. I mean, it's not like there's lightning in the area. Obviously, it's a sunny day here. Well, well, 60 degrees. I'm just trying to figure out what it could possibly be. Perhaps maybe the referee. The referee is not on the field. Perhaps for some reason. I can give you all kinds of particular of, of potential reasons for it, but I don't know for sure. Some some issue with the officials, and perhaps they're going to be changing out the officials here at Morehouse College. Well, obviously, a, a big day here in Atlanta with this matchup, Clark Atlanta at Morehouse, and of course, rivalry weekend here in the SIAC. But yet another delay. It's always some, every week we always have some kind of issue. At the season, of course. Disappointing year for both teams. Clark Atlanta 0 and 9 coming into today's game, trying to get their first win of the season. And what a great team to beat! To beat your neighbor, and then for Morehouse, just trying to salvage what has been a disappointing year. Morehouse with seven and three last year. They had 10 players on the preseason all-conference team, and they thought that maybe they could challenge for the East Division Championship, but the usual suspects, Albany State and Fort Valley State. Oh, 
are playing for the East Championship. And, of course, Miles at Tuskegee playing for the West Championship. And Tuskegee's won more SAC championships than anyone with 31. Albany State has 15. Fort Valley State has 11. So another delay. It's finally over. Lobo to kick off of Clark Atlanta. And here is the kickoff. Down to the five. And it's Knuckles. And Knuckles across the 20. Cuts across and he gets out to the 30 yard line. So good return for Reese Knuckles. I think it's at the 29 yard line. Got 11.33 to play here in the opening quarter. Second possession for Morehouse ended in an interception, which led to the first touchdown for Clark Atlanta. Sims back on the offense. Leak Merchant into the game now as one of the receivers. Gooden goes to the top with him. First down from the shotgun, done in the backfield. At the 29-yard line. And this one goes to Dunn, and Dunn tries the left side. Rodney Lewis was the first man to hit him as he crosses the 30-yard line. That'll be good for three. We got a flag down. So flags are down. Let's see what the penalty is. So penalty against Clark Atlanta. So first and five from the 34 after the penalty. So three out run for Dunn will be taken off the board. Still a good thing for Morehouse on their first on that first play. Dunn again breaks the tackle, breaks another, gets across the 35. And he's back out to the 39-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. Good run by Santo Dunn. Hasn't had that breakout run this season. But certainly has gotten the help from Frank Bailey Jr. out of the backfield. So first down, trips goes to the top. Sims takes the snap, hands it off. This is Dunn. Dunn comes left side, following his blockers all the way across the 45. He's out to the 47-yard line. Going good for eight more. And Dunn is off and running here this afternoon. Junior from Miami. He was the preseason SIT Offensive Player of the Year. Rodney Lewis up front along with Jonathan Elijah Butu, Andre Felder, and Jacquez Jackson. There's Dunn, right side, and he's across midfield. He's got a first down at the 49-yard line. That one good for another four yards, and Dunn is rolling around. Now it's back up. Another first down. Justin Wade, Kenneth Morgan, Tyrone Mixon into the game as well. Chris Ball won one of the one of the corners, along with Frankie Collin. Got Morgan won the safeties along with Tyler Wimberly. And we got movement up front. It's gonna be a false start against Morehouse. Kevin Williams into the game as well as one of the corners for Clark Atlanta. So takes the ball back to the Morehouse 46. Maroon Tigers back in their own territory. First and 15 now for the Maroon Tigers. Done again. Almost broke a tackle as he got to midfield. Elijah Butu held on for dear life. Three yards for Dunn. Be 
second down and 12. And again, some Warren tries to tie this ball game. Four wide outs, done in the backfield. You get to see Frank Bailey Jr. Brian Little motion as he comes inside. And now they'll hand it off to Dunn again, coming left side. And Justin Wade makes the tackle at the more at the Clark Atlanta 45. So it'll be third down. Again, Dunn has been all done on this possession. Five more yards for Dunn. Got to get to the 39 for a first down. It is third and six. Here's Frank Bailey Jr. Right side. Good tackle. Like Jackson got him short. He's got to the 42-yard line. So a decision here for Freeman. Looks like the offense is going to remain on the field. So first, fourth down attempt. Might be trying to draw Clark Atlanta offside. Perhaps they do have a play here for fourth down. It's fourth and three. Sims hands off to Dunn. Dunn right side. First down and more. Dunn inside the 30. One man left. He's pushed out of bounds by Morgan at the 15-yard line. Dunn needed three. He ended up getting 27 and a big first down for Morehouse. Santo Dunn finally breaks one loose. It's one of his longest rushes of the season. His long this year is 35 yards. Morgan pushed him out, so another first down and a fourth down conversion for Morehouse. Eighth time they've converted a fourth down this season on 18 attempts. First down at the 15. Dunn again going right side, and he's pushed out. Mixon on the stop at the 14-yard line. So Frankie Connell came over there late for the stop. Morehouse 27 to 31 in the red zone, 19 touchdowns, eight interceptions, second best team in the red zone. Clark Atlanta 26 for 30, allowing 16 touchdowns and 10 field goals, second to last in the league. Here's Dunn. Actually, the fake to Sims. Sims coming left side. Actually, that's Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown in the game for the first time. He gets it down to the six-yard line. We're going to have extra flags at the end on the late hit. And so Brown comes in on the quarterback keeper. Gets it down to the six-yard line. But flags are, have come in. And it's going to be a first down for Morehouse. Perhaps half the distance of the goal. So nice drive here by Morehouse. So first and goal. Sims back into the game. So Brown comes in to. Spell Sims on that run. Good fake to Dunn. And now Sims will try to... Morehouse tries to tie it up. And we've got a timeout. Timeout Clark Atlanta. All roads lead to Spartanburg, South Carolina for the 2019 SIAC Volleyball Championship from November 18th through the 20th. Follow the SIAC on social media at the SIAC for full coverage. So first and goal for for Morehouse to try to tie the game. We've got it's like 5.45 remaining in the opening quarter. We'll check on these other scores here. Miles now up 10-3 to on Tuskegee. 9.22 to play 
in the second quarter there. And found City Classic. Ready to kick off a little bit later on this afternoon. Looks like it's going to be at 3 o'clock. So the winner of that game will, will win the East Championship and host the SIAC Championship game next week. Done in the backfield with Sims. Knuckles goes in motion. 5.45 left in the quarter. Ball bounces to Dunn, and Dunn scores. Touchdown, Morehouse. I don't know if it was supposed to be a direct snap or not. It ended up working out. And Dunn scores from three yards out. His fifth rushing touchdown this year. And Morehouse comes right down and scores after the touchdown for Clark Atlanta. And it is now 7-6. to six. So they looked like they were going to do a two-point play. And now Fernando Sedelo Mora will come in for the extra point. 5.34 left in the opening quarter. Kick is up, and the kick is good. We are all even at seven. As expected, Clark Atlanta and Morehouse. 5.34 to play in the first quarter. On the planet. Halftime, we'll have Farmers from the Mighty Marching Panthers and the House of Funk from Morehouse. 7-7 as Stella Mora kicks off. And this one is headed towards the out-of-bounds line, and it will go out-of-bounds. At the five-yard line, so Clark Atlanta will get good field position to start its next possession. So the sophomore from Fairburn, Georgia, makes a mistake. And Clark Atlanta will take over. 5.34 to play. In the quarter. So Morehouse. Off a 10 play drive. They went. 71 yards. And took. Almost 6 minutes off the clock. On first down for Clark Atlanta. Stafford completes it. That is. That is Dracar Jerry. His first catch of the game. And he's got a first down at the 46-yard line. So 11 more yards to Stafford. you got to think that he's going to throw the ball about 50 times today for his team to win. Final game for Charles Stafford. What a career he has had. What a season he has had. And it's been fun watching him these last two seasons. Stafford. Left side. Pass is caught. Receiver was almost not ready for it, but it was complete to Kendall Wimberly. And that's a big first down all the way to the 34-yard line. So back-to-back -back passes, back-to-back -back plays. And that one good for 20. First catch for Wimberly. Five wide out Stafford. Again, lofts it towards the sideline. It is caught. What a play along the sideline by Wimberly. Wimberly down to the nine-yard line, and it's first and goal just like that. Just three plays. 25-yard line. That's 25 yards on the pass. What an incredible play. Three plays, and now Clark Atlanta is in goal to go situations coming into the season for coming into the game they're 14 to 25 in the red zone there's a carry to the right side can he get to the corner dives to the pylon touched well no they say he's out of bounds out of bounds at the one yard line play blackman on the run and picks up eight it's the second carry of the game almost got it in there Second and goal. The fifth play of the drive. Second and goal. Pritchard in the backfield. He gets the carry. Comes right side. Big hit. 
That is going to be Norman on the tackle. Pritchett makes the has his first rush of the game. It's third and goal. They lost a yard on the play. Blackman in the backfield with Stafford. Three wideouts. Third and goal. And it's handoff, and he has stopped up the middle. Three twenty-three left in the opening quarter. So the third down comes up short. That was their first third down conversion attempt. And now it will be fourth down. And it looks like they are bringing in the field goal unit. Fernando Lobo will try a 20-yard field goal. 255 and counting to go. Opening quarter. Kick on the way, and he bangs it through. So, Clark Atlanta has a 10-7 lead on Morehouse. 240. Well, now it's 240. Still counting. Left in the first quarter. You're watching SIAC football on Flow Sports. Back here in Atlanta, is one of the up backs takes it for Morehouse. Across the 35 to 36 yard line, but we've got flags down everywhere. As Clark Atlanta takes the lead 10 to 7. They got down to the nine yard line in three plays. So seven plays. Six, 63 yards and just over two. Minutes and 50 seconds. So personal foul against Morehouse. So the third penalty already in this game. Kentucky State up 21 nothing on Central State. 6-14 left in the third quarter. More Miles up 10-3 on Tuskegee late in the second quarter. Of course here in Clark Atlanta. 10-7 is the score between the Panthers and the Maroon Tigers. So they start. So Morehouse will start this drive from their own twenty. With Two seventeen left. It's like Bailey in the backfield with Sims. So now the clock is going to be adjusted. The clock just kept on running after. The field goal went through, but no one really noticed. You can't really see the clock here at Morehouse uh, under the sun. So first down, so they keep it at 217. First down, four wideouts for Morehouse. Sims quickly gets it away, has a man wide open. It's Gooden. Gooden across midfield. One man left to beat. He's going to take it all the way. Tremel Gooden, touchdown Morehouse. 80 yards and a flash. On uh, senior day, Tramel Gooden goes the distance. A huge play for the guy who's also a member of the basketball team. The six foot four receiver showing some speed. And the Tigers take their first lead of the game. They're going to run for the two-point conversion. It's Knuckles. He made it. So they lined up for the two-point conversion. They went for it, and they get it. So Morehouse with eight points on that possession, and they have now a 15-10 lead. That play took 13 seconds off the clock. What a play. Of course, he's one of the seniors, one of the 15 players playing their final game at BT Harvey Stadium. What a memory that is going to be for Tramiel Gooden. So a five-point lead for Morehouse as they went for two. My goodness. So Della Mora will kick off back deep from Clark Atlanta. Darius Nichols and to Darius Sorry, Darius Blackman back along with 
Daryl Nichols. So that got this Morehouse crowd into it. An 80-yard reception. So Del Morris kick will come down to Blackman inside the five. Coming to the right side, and Blackman steps out of bounds. They'll mark him at the 25-yard line. And that's where Clark and Lana will start this next offensive possession. All eyes are on the Eastern Division as the champion will earn the chance to host the 8th annual SIAC Football Championship game on November 16th. Fans visit www.thesiac.com for official conference and championship game gear. Get your tickets today. 158 to play in the opening quarter. And we've had some fireworks already. First down, the handoff goes to Blackman. Blackman goes left side. Nice run. Across the 30 to the 32-yard line. Seven-yard pickup on first down. So they go to the running game to start this possession. And they pick up about seven. Jonathan Mathis, the team's leading tackler. He's on his way to 100. Blackman again. This time he has no gain on the play. The 21-yard, back to the 32-yard line. And just like that, it's already third down. It'll be third and three. 120 left in the quarter. Clark Atlanta scored on both possessions. Morehouse has scored on his last two possessions. Stafford on the five wide out up the sideline. He's got a man open. It's caught at the 40-yard line. That's Dracar Jerry. They will mark it at the 38-yard line, and that's another first down. That one good for 20. That one is good for 30 yards. Second catch for Jerry. This one again. This one, Wilson. Wilson makes the catch. And they got another first down. That one down to the 17-yard line. Boy, back and forth we go. And again, Charles Stafford. Already right, also a terrific start in this game. 10 for 12 for 154. Jerry with his third catch of the game. And we've got a timeout. Chance to catch our breath right here. And some fireworks here in this rivalry game. As we take a look at some of the stats so far. Stafford 10 for 12 now for 147 yards. Card Jerry, 41 yards on two receptions. Jonathan Sanders, three receptions for 37 yards on a touchdown. Trey Wilson, two receptions for 32 yards. Kendall Wimberly with the big catch down the, down the field. Stafford already 10 for 12 in the game. Blackman, 23 yards rushing on five attempts you know, for Morehouse. Sims, just four completions, but for 90 yards with the interception. Well, what a start to this one here at Morehouse College. 42 seconds left, first and 10 for, more, for Clark Atlanta. Stafford looking left side. Lofts it towards the end zone. It's incomplete. Tried to hit Ricks. That was actually... Would have been in a pretty good spot. So now Stafford 10 for 13. And the game that was scheduled to start at 2 o'clock. I think really get started about 2.25. Stafford again. Over the middle. Pass is dropped by Wimberly, and that is not a usual occurrence with these receivers and the way that Stafford has been able to have such a connection, especially with Wimberly throughout the season. Five wide receivers on third now. Stafford looking over the middle. 
off the head, off the head of one of his receivers, and the flag is down, and the fans aren't going to be happy with that one. If that is if that is pass interference, it's going to be first and goal. That'll be a tough, tough penalty. So it's down now. Should be down to the seven yard line. And we set the chains down to the six yard line. It'll be first and goal. So another penalty for Morehouse. Lafford. Double pump throws. Caught. Touchdown, Clark Atlanta. That one good to Jakar Jerry. His fourth catch already. And the six-yard touchdown pass, and Stafford is 11 for 16 in this first half. And Clark Atlanta goes back on top. Now Stafford. Looks like they're going to go for the extra point. What a great first half here in Atlanta. All well for the extra point. Make it a two-point game, and the extra point is good. So 19 seconds to play here in the first quarter. So that drive took eight plays in 75 yards in time of one minute and 39 seconds. These two teams going back and forth. Stafford with the second touchdown pass. Fourteen seconds left to play. And these two teams, this rivalry game, so much pride on the line. The defense is 0 for 3 in defensive possessions. Clark Atlanta scored on every possession. Morehouse. And scored in the last two possessions after an interception. So it's been feast or famine today at BT Harvey Stadium. Lobo's kick. It'll come down to Knuckles at the eight. Here comes Reese. And he slipped as he crossed the 20. He's out to the 26 yard line with 13 seconds remaining in the opening quarter. I had the feeling it was going to be one of those games that was going to be really good. Did not expect the game to start like this. 33 points and 32 points in this first quarter. On the 25-yard line, Morehouse will start this first first down. Handoff comes left side. That is Bailey. And Bailey Jr. out. I'm sorry, that's Knuckles. That's actually Reese Knuckles on the on the on the rush out to the 30-yard line, and that will be the final play of what has been an entertaining first quarter here at Clark Atlanta, here in Mar Morehouse, BT Harvey Stadium, Morehouse, trailing 17-15. So gets set for the second quarter. Back here in Atlanta, Frank Bailey Jr. got the first carry of the second quarter. And no gain on the play. Got the 30-yard line. So Morehouse, 172 total yards in the first quarter. Clark Atlanta, 180. After a Clark Atlanta interception, Santo Dunn with a five-yard touchdown run. Jamel, Tramel Good with an 80-yard touchdown reception. That's how Morehouse got their 15. You know, for Clark Atlanta. Jonathan Sanders, a six-yard touchdown reception. Fernando Lobo, a 20-yard field goal. And Jacar Jerry, a six-yard touchdown reception. And 
we've got ourselves a 17 to 15 score. Third and five for Morehouse. The pass is complete over the middle. We've got the flag. That's been a false start here. And it took too much time. So it'll be third and ten now for the Maroon Tigers. So they try to keep pace with Clark Atlanta now trailing by two. So we're just starting the second quarter. Four wideouts, a pair of stacks on the formation. Sims on the flags are down. There's going to be a free play. Sims throws it up for grabs. Knuckles is there. He makes the catch at the 35-yard line. He's out of bounds. I think Clark Atlanta was off sides of that play stands. They will mark it out at the 34. So the 34-yard line. That one good for 41 yards. Second catch for Knuckles today. First down for Morehouse. Three wide outs. We'll go to the other side with Bailey. Bailey now cuts it across the 30. And it's tackled by Mixon at the 29-yard line. Good play on first down. That one good for five. Third carry for Bailey. So both of these defenses... Uh, struggling here at the start. This off, these two offenses, explosive here in the first half. Morehouse looking for the lead again. Miles Brown goes in motion. Another handoff to Bailey. Bailey with a jump cut. Now comes outside. Can he get the corner? Oh, big hit at the end. And we got flags down at the 30-yard line. They'll mark it at the 31. That'll be a loss of a couple, but... Morehouse might get some free uh, yards here. Let's see what this flag is about. The flag came after the hit, and Miles Brown is complaining. So, so actually going back to the original spot. That's going to be a hold against Morehouse. So Morehouse already with five penalties in this game. So back to the 39-yard line. It's going to be second and 15. Good to have you with us. Kamari Darrington here. James Crenshaw is our producer this afternoon. The AUC rivalry. Sims and Bailey in the backfield. Sims on first down, looking, going deep, up the sideline. That pass is too far. Looks like they're trying to hit Knuckles again. There were two Clark Atlanta defenders in the area when the ball came down. So it's now third and 15. Third and 15, Bale in the backfield. Kachava comes on. And join Knuckles at the top of the picture. Good here at the bottom of the screen. Four wideouts. Sims in the shotgun. Sims, there's more moving up front. Gooden is there. It's incomplete. But Morehouse, they're going to get another shot. Just out of the reach of Gooden, but well, should get some free yardage. So now it's third and 10, 39 yard line. Both these defenses have been susceptible to big play so far.
Job on Gooden at the, at the bottom. Third and ten for the Maroon Tigers. Here's Sims under pressure. Gets away. And he's going to throw wide open as Gooden again at the 20-yard line. He breaks away. And he's still down to the 19-yard line. 15 more yards. Another first down for Morehouse. It seems the Gooden connection has been lethal so far. And Gooden's already got over 100 yards receiving. Barely four minutes into the second quarter. So a third down conversion for Morehouse. First one of the game. Now Santo done. Done. Can't break away. Man lost a yard on that one, and he did. Tried to cut. That's his ninth carry of the game for 55 yards. But that time. Just could not get his footing under him. So from the 20 yard line. 10-25 when counting to go before halftime. Sims over the middle. Gooden makes the catch. What a play by Gooden inside the 10. Down to the 8 yard line. That one good for 11. Another first down. It's first and goal. He's got 119 yards receiving already. What a first half for Tremel Gooden on senior day. Of course, he had one 80-yard touchdown. That helps out his, his total a little bit. But, man, that was a tough catch in traffic. First down. And the handoff coming right side is Bailey. Bailey standing up inside the five. Well, he's he got that he got folded up in an awkward angle. So he gets it down to the three yard line. That one good for six yards. Boy, Bailey earned every yard he got on that play. He was folded up like an accordion. Morehouse looking to take the lead right now. It's. A two-point lead for Clark Atlanta. Bailey in the backfield. Bunch formation. Tight bunch formation. Here comes Bailey. Left side. He's got the touchdown. Morehouse regains the lead. And Rich Freeman wants to go for two to make it a six-point game. Four-point lead. Bailey with his fifth touchdown reception of the season. Both the running backs for Morehouse now. Over 500 yards rushing on the season. Morehouse has scored on three consecutive possessions. Clark and Lynn have scored on all three of their possessions. We might have a basketball score by the time this thing is over. Sims throws wide open. Two-point conversion is good. Nine minutes exactly to play in the second quarter. Morehouse, 23. Clark Atlanta, 17. You're watching SIEC Football on Flow Sports. Planet. Of course, you can stay on this stream on Flow Sports as well to watch the halftime performance. Stella Morris kick. Tyler Lumpkin was the man that caught the the two point conversion attempt, and it is taken by Martin Fleming Jr. as he gets across the 25 to the 27 yard line. So Clark and Lano. She has scored on all three of its possessions. Gets his first possession of the second quarter. Morehouse just went on a, a drive 
11 plays, 75 yards, 6 minutes and 13 seconds. Came off the clock as Morehouse went strictly, went mostly to the running game. Charles Stafford back on the field. Some touchdown passes already. Bunch formation to the top on first down. This one's a handoff. This one is to Blackman. Julian Turner on the stop. At the 31-yard line, four yards the gain for Blackman. He's got 25 yards rushing so far. Julian Turner's had a rough, rough year with injuries. He's back on the field. Senior from Pickerton, Ohio. That one is incomplete. And a big hit. Edward Nelson there on the on the coverage. It'll be third and six coming up for the Panthers. It's gonna be interesting here. Five wide receivers. This has got to be Stafford's favorite formation. Stafford, right side pass is incomplete. And I don't see a flag. Good coverage there by Nelson. Second straight play. Tried to hit Felix Jones. So for the first time today, Clark Atlanta is forced to punt. Ty Woods, the junior from Montgomery, Alabama. Santo Dunn. Back to... Receive it. He's standing at his own 35-yard line. This is the first punt of the game for either team. The only other thing we've had has been an interception. Woods punt. Bounces at the 30, and it'll roll. Four o'clock Atlanta all the way inside the 20, and down to the 17-yard line. So good, good punt there. That was a 52-yard punt for Ty Woods. So first down at the 17 for Morehouse after our first punt of the game. These two teams are just going back and forth. Six different players have caught a pass for Stafford. Well... Mel Gooden has 119 receiving yards already. What a start for him. And Michael Sims with this offense. 8.06 left in the second quarter. Handoff goes to Dunn. And Dunn breaks a tackle across the 20. Dunn, now the 25 to 30. And he's out of bounds at the 35-yard line. That one good for 18. And Dunn with his 10th carry, 73 yards. Good start for Santo Dunn rushing the football. And we have a, a time, well, officials timeout because we got to reset the chains. The chains got linked up. We'll give you an update on the other scores going on. 4.45 left. In these, actually, at halftime, Miles up 17 to three on Tuskegee. Perhaps Tuskegee has Miles Wiles power they wanted because last year in that game, Tuskegee had the big lead at halftime, and Miles came back to get the win. Meanwhile, Kentucky State with a 27-14 lead on Central State. That game is with 9:27 left in the fourth quarter. What a first year for Charlie Jackson at. Kentucky State did not win a single game a season ago, and they're 9:27 away from finishing the year at six in three. I'm also trying to get the score for Benedict at Lane for the fans of the Lane College team. I have not seen a score for them yet. Well, what we do, we'll let you know what that score is. It 
7.49 left. Sims working out of the shotgun. And off goes to Santo Dunn. He's across the 35. That's a 39 yard line. Picks up four. Eleven carry for Dunn now for 77 yards. The first half we're done. Second down. Sims off the fake. Man, open again. Boy, this Clark Atlanta defense has given up a lot of yards. That one to Trevor Gachava to the 38-yard line. That's another first down. 23 yards. Sims already almost at 200 yards today. Another first down for Morehouse. Another 38 yard line. Dunn able to stay on his feet. He still will lose about two yards on that first down. He'll actually take it back to, to the 41 yard line. That one, the loss of three on the play. Justin Wade made the stop. Good penetration that time by Clark Atlanta. Atlanta gives up over 383 yards a game, second to last in the SIAC. Both defenses have given up big plays. Biggest play so far has been the 80-yard touchdown pass from Sims to Gooden. Four wideouts for Morehouse. They'll hand it off to the Dunn. Look at him. <laughs> Pushing his blockers, Santo Dunn down the 30 yard line. Give him 11. Riding Lee Humphrey. He's got 85 yards on 13 carries here in this first first half. Got to get to the 28 for a first down. It's third and two. Chava and Knuckles here to the near side. Gooden goes to the top. Sims over to Bailey. A nice job by Lewis. And he couldn't make the tackle. And they finally get him down to the 32-yard line. Actually lost a couple on the play. So now fourth down. This will be an interesting call for Rich Freeman. A six-point game. Tyler Lumpkin back into the game. Good now comes to the near side along with Kachamba. Morehouse had his last fourth down attempt. Kachamba goes in motion. Got to get to the 28. Sims lofts it for Gooden, and Gooden can't make the catch. Nice defense that time as it was knocked away by Kenneth Morgan. And there's a turnover on downs, so the first time we've had that. And that ends a three-possession scoring streak for Morehouse. And Clark Atlanta gets it back, 422 to play before halftime. And again, on flowmarching.com, you'll see both bands get going on the field. Mighty Marching Panthers for Clark Atlanta and the Morehouse House of Funk. And that's on flowmarching.com and right here. On flowfootball.com. Clark Atlanta, five wide receivers. Stafford in the shotgun. We're going to go to work here. Fires up the sideline. It is caught. What a play by Wimberly. And they're going to give him the catch. He's out of bounds near midfield. They're going to mark it at midfield. Another big catch. Charles Stafford today has been unbelievable. Already. It's 178 yards passing already. Third catch from Wimberly. Stafford up the sideline. Incomplete. Corey King had a touchdown, but he could not hang on to it. It was almost picked also. It could have been anything on that play. 
think Norman came over to had a chance to intercept the pass. Second down. Five wide outs again. Here's Stafford. Right side complete. That's Khalib Robertson. And Robertson is inside the 35 to the 31 yard line. So first catch for Robertson. That one good for 19. Team for 20 for 187. Stafford over the middle. Incomplete. Had to hit the local kid, Jonathan Sanders. Big hit by Jonathan Mathis. And there in the middle. Sanders won the Tri-Cities High School here in Atlanta. Right down the road. So just like that, it's second and ten. Twenty-three seventeen. Clark Atlanta. Trailing them by six, but already in position to perhaps take the lead. Stafford looking to throw. Right side. It's in the air. It's incomplete. And again, they're starting to get some pressure on Stafford. And it's a four straight pass. That's 22 attempts in the first half for Stafford. Just like that, it's third and ten. Stafford, same formation. They've worked. They've had the same formation in the last two possessions. Third down. Stafford rolls, throws. It is complete to the 19-yard line. That one is to Jerry, and Jerry has 12 more yards. Fifth catch already for Jerry. Five wide outs again. Three minutes left in the quarter. Stafford flags are down. Stafford over the middle. Complete. That to Wimberley. Now there's another flag comes in. Wimberley makes the catch to the 13. Well, we got flags before we. So let's check the flag first. One is off. One look like it's offsides against Morehouse. Once again, Charles Stafford just a couple of big, big penalties here on this one. Clark Atlanta down to the six yard, seven yard line off the penalty. Sorry, the sixth, seventh penalty against Morehouse in this first half. Clark Atlanta has not had one go against them. Stafford to Sanders. Sanders underneath, looking at him driving to the goal line. Touchdown, Clark Atlanta. Jonathan Sanders, his second of the day, and the game is tied. Jonathan Sanders coming back to his hometown in Atlanta and coming through a pair of touchdowns. Stafford with three touchdowns in the first half. A low ball down to chip the extra point. Lobo's kick is good. So Clark Atlanta takes the lead. 241 left to play in the first half. 24-23 watching SIAC football on Flow Sports. Back here in Atlanta, Clark Atlanta's kickoff 
goes out of bounds, and we've got some extra pushing and shoving and other stuff going on after the play. It's a healthy rivalry, but these two, these two teams. So first down, these two teams. They want to get a win and finish their season off with a victory, especially for Clark Atlanta. They would love to get their only win of the year in this ball game. So from the 35-yard line, Clark, Clark Atlanta back on top, a 47-point first half. Between these two SIAC East rivals. On first down, Sims throws it, complete the good. Another big play. Good and trying to break the tackle of Wade. He did. He's after the 47 yard line. Chris Baldwin also there to make the stop. So just like that, both quarterbacks over 200 yards passing. Good and 131 yards. 130 yards, I should say. Eleven yards for that play. Sims will come up on two minutes left. Sims throws. Lumpkin can't make the catch. He's hit hard out of bounds in the Clark Atlanta bench. That'll be second down. Morehouse three and six. Clark Atlanta. Oh and nine, a chance for a chance for Clark Atlanta to finish off a year that was more than disappointing and end up getting a big win. And we've got flags and a timeout called by Morehouse. So Morehouse has one timeout left. You can keep up with the latest news and updates regarding SIAC athletics by visiting the official website of the Southern Intercollegiate Athletic Conference at www.thesiac.com. And don't forget, coming up at halftime, the Mighty Marching Panthers and the House of Funk will be on flowmarching.com. And also go to flowmarching.com for archived performances from the season. Like Atlanta, 24-23 leaders on Morehouse. As this game heads towards halftime, Clark Atlanta will get the ball to start the second half. From the 46-yard line, second and 10, 205 remaining. Here's Sims looking under pressure, gets away from it, and he's going to run it, and he's hit out of bounds, and that's going to be a flag. And another flag has come in. And again, more of that chippiness as this game both these teams playing for really not much for pride, but they also it was an intense rivalry. So give him 15 yards. Sims actually picked up. Did not pick up anything on that first down. Under the 38-yard line. So first penalty against Clark Atlanta today. On first down, Sims throws wide open. It's Miles Brown. Brown will rumble his way inside the 25. And another first down as they chirp again. That one good for 15. So Brown with his first catch of the game. 
His fourth reception of the season. Sims 9 for 13 for 216 yards. What a first half from both of these quarterbacks. It is a duel. Browns right on the edge of the red zone. Sims on first down. Lofting it. Looking for Gooden again. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Morehouse. 23 yards from Mel Gooden. His sixth catch of the game already. And his second touchdown. As he dropped that one in. That's the 10th completion already. And now, we'll go for two is 29-24 at the moment. They're going to go for the extra point. Make it 30-24. to 137 left in the quarter. The extra point is good, so... Boy, this first half, this is one of the highest scoring games we've had, let alone first half. 30 to 24, 137 left. That drive took a minute and four seconds off the clock. Five plays, 65 yards. These two teams put up 54 points in this first half. Warren scored 45 against my. Warren scored 34 against Benedict two weeks ago. Clark and Landis High has been 27. Had 27 against Miles. They lost by by four. Scored 27 against Fort Valley State, lost by seven. In fact, for Clark Atlanta, they lost nine games. They've lost nine games this season. They lost seven last year. Ten of those 16 losses have been by seven points or less. This Clark Atlanta team has been snake bitten. They're they are behind again. And Blackman could not stay in bounds. That ball was headed out of bounds, and Blackman decided to receive it and. That's down to the eight-yard line, so tough play for Clark Atlanta. Again, both of these defenses have not been able to stop anybody. We've had one punt. We've had one turnover on downs. We've had one interception. Other than that, every possession has ended in a score. Morehouse trying to get catch Morehouse napping. They hit Sanders, and Sanders breaks away. But, oh, boy, he could not keep his footing. Down to the 18-yard line. That's going to be good enough for a first down. So 10 more yards for Stafford and for Sanders. So good job by Clark Atlanta to get up to the line quickly. and They were ready to go. Morehouse was not. Stafford, again, that pass incomplete. It's already his 27th pass attempt in this first half. Talking about he's been throwing the ball about 40 times a game. i got to think that's going to be up towards 50 here this afternoon. 17 of 27 for 222 yards and three touchdowns in the first half for Charles Stafford. Stafford again looking. And he's going to run for it. He's got a lot of room. He's across the 30, and he dives down. To the 32-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. 14 yards for Stafford. That's one of his best runs of the season. One oh eight and counting to go before halftime. And Clark Atlanta will get the ball to start the third quarter. They will love to give some points here before halftime. Stafford again. Knocked down. Almost picked off. And it might have been a pick six. Good play by Page as he knocked it away. It's 
Stafford now 17 for 28. Stops the clock with 57 seconds on the clock. Stafford going deep. It's Roberson incomplete. Another one that almost got picked off. Stafford's got 12 interceptions this season, something that he didn't have a lot of interceptions last year. But because of the way that Clark Atlanta's offense has, has had to travel this season, Stafford 18 touchdowns to 12 interceptions. So now with 51 seconds left, we've got third and 10. Clark Atlanta now 0 for 5 on third down conversion. Here's Stafford. Again over the middle, and Jerry could not handle it. Try to get it with one hand. And now what do you do here if you're Clark Atlanta? You got to punt this football, I got to believe. Even though your defense has not stopped anyone, just the interception and the turnover on downs. So now Ty Woods comes in for his second punt. First one traveled 52 yards. Santo Dunn. Standing back in his own 25-yard line. Low snap. He picks it up. And Dunn calls for the fair catch, and he makes it at the 30-yard line. And that's where Morehouse will have it. With 38 seconds left and one timeout. Well, next week, it'll be either Miles at Tusk. The Miles or Tuskegee out of the West. And it will be either Albany State or Fort Valley State out of the East. And right now in the third quarter, Albany State up 7-6 to six on Fort Valley State. That game is at halftime. Sims drops it off to Dunn. And Dunn steps out of bounds. At the 35-yard line. That one good for five yards. Thirty-one seconds to play. Morehouse up by six. Run formation to the top. One receiver here to the bottom. Looks like that's Gooden. Sims looking to throw over the middle pass. Caught. Big hit. Santo Dunn got leveled by Joshua Washington at the 38-yard line. Second straight catch for Dunn. It's third down. Got to get it to the 40. They're going to let the clock run out. Final seconds. One. And that'll do it for the end of the first half. And uh, Jamel Gooden unhappy that they could not get the playoff. At the end of the first half. So, man, a lot of points. 54 of them. 30 to 24 at halftime. When we come back, we will have the halftime performances. Coming up, you're watching SIAC Football on Flow Sports. Taking the field now, the Clark Atlanta Mighty Marching Panthers is the halftime performance.
Marching band, we send our prayers to Alexis Crawford's family and close friends. So that was the morning house. Now some fun. We'll take, we'll get ready to take the field and come back. Get ready for the second half. Here, thirty to twenty-four is the lead. Morehouse on top of Clark Atlanta. Clark Atlanta will get the ball to start the second half. You're watching SIAC football on Flow Sports. Back here in Atlanta, so get ready for the second half. Morehouse with a 30 to 24 lead on Clark Atlanta. What a great first half it was. Hopefully the second half is just as good. And Kamari Darrington, along with James Crenshaw, our producer, and we have got ourselves a great matchup. I'm going to update you on the other scores here in the SIAC. Miles with a 17-3 lead at halftime. And now it is 17-6 as they get ready to start the third quarter. And start the fourth quarter. And also at halftime, Albany State up 7-6 on Fort Valley State. <clears throat> that is at the half. Clark Atlanta will start with the ball in the second half. Down by six. Sadella Moore's kick comes down to Blackman at the 11. And Blackman finds a seam. He's out near the 35-yard line. And we'll mark it at the 36. And that's where Clark Atlanta will begin this possession. 14.52 left here in the third quarter. Charles Stafford. Listen to these numbers for a first half for a quarterback. 17 for 30, 224 yards, three touchdowns, 
Two to Jonathan Sanders, who had six catches for 60 yards. One to Jakar Jerry, had four catches for 59 yards. Darius Blackman, six carries for 27 yards. On first down, Stafford to put it up again. Throws over the middle, complete to Martin Fleming Jr. And Fleming lost a couple. We'll let Jonathan Mathis on the stop. Now to 222, 18 for 31, 222 yards. It's a loss of a couple. Here's Stafford. Throws, and it is caught by Sanders. And Sanders gets it out to the 49 yard line. That's going to be a first down and a gain of 14. Sixth catch for Sanders. What a game he is having in his hometown with the Tri Cities High School. And he is coming through in a big way. Stafford on first down, looking to throw. He does. It's intercepted. Living dangerously is Hendrick Vanover, who made the interception at the 35 yard line. Charles Stafford his 13th interception this season. And that ends the drive for Morehouse. It looked like it was. It was a promising drive for Clark Atlanta. But now Charles Stafford throws another pick. And Morehouse with leads by six will try to take advantage. And Clark Atlanta converted an interception into a touchdown in the first half. So let's see if Turnabout is fair play. Jalen Brown starts this drive in at quarterback, and he will look to put it up on first down. Brown going deep down the middle for Gooden. It's incomplete. Joshua Washington on the coverage again. At 153 yards to Gooden in that first half. Sims completed 12 for 16 passes with one interception for 236 yards and those two touchdowns. The big one was the the, the 80 yard touchdown to Gooden in the second quarter. Yeah, that was in the first quarter, actually. Second down. And they give it to Bailey, and Bailey is rocked as he crosses the 35 yard line. Look for a yard. Bailey now 18 yards rushing. This is a Morehouse team that averages 106 yards rushing a game, 198 passing. The, the, the thing for a lot of these teams is on offense that they'll be good on one side, uh, either rushing or passing, but bad, on, completely bad on the other. Certainly the case with Clark Atlanta. We'll have a little bit more balanced. Here's third and nine. Sims looking to throw. He's back in the game, and he is taken down. It's a first sack. This time Xavier Lewis and Rodney Lewis both on the stop. All the way back to the 28-yard line, so a loss of eight. And that was a sack. It's the first sack of the game. Ella Moore back to punt. And Jakar Jerry standing at his 35. And Jerry will try to pick it up. And it was, did he touch it? Did he touch it? Yes, he did. It's Morehouse football. And a mistake by Jakar Jerry. Daniel Norman, he's had a couple of chances to get a pick. This time he recovers the fumble at the 24-yard line. Car Jerry looked like he had touched it at the 30 yard line. He's saying that he was talking about it. So Morehouse has it at the 24 with 12.03 remaining 
here in the third quarter. It was close. Dunn, up the middle, inside the 15, and he's down. They'll get it down to the 14 yard line. First carry of the second half, and it's actually marked it at the 15, so it's nine yards for Dunn. 16th carry today for Santo Dunn. Second in the yard at the 15. Great opportunity for Morehouse. Line outs. Here comes Dunn to the right side. Out of bounds at the 10 yard line. That's good for a first down. And Mixon is shaking up after the play. It'll be first and goal. Dunn is a yard away from the 100 yards today. Eleven minutes left in the third quarter. Sims with Dunn in the backfield. Bailey came off limping after the play a few moments ago. So it's all Santo Dunn right now. He gets another carry. Coming left side. Santo Dunn. Down to the five yard line. He's picked up five yards of pop here. He's over 100 yards today. Up to 104. Second and goal from the five. Morehouse trying to extend the lead. Sims again trying to draw a strong clock and land offside. Huge put, huge possession in this game for Morehouse. Chavo goes in motion. Going for Gooden. Oh, he was being held, I thought, on the play. And Gooden almost made a spectacular one-handed catch. But it's incomplete. Sims now 12 of 17. For 236. Gooden. We saw Javaris Cheatham last year for Tuskegee made a similar catch in the end zone with the one hand. Chris Baldwin was on the coverage over there for Clark Atlanta. 9.53 left in the third quarter. Third down. Here's Dunn trying to get to the end zone. And he's wrapped up at the four. It'll be fourth down. And it looks like it'll be a field goal attempt here for Del to Delamore. It'll be his first of the game. And this one is from 21 yards out. So they make it a nine point game. And it looks like Delamore is going to add to his total, and he does. A 21 yard field goal. Makes it Morehouse 33, Clark Atlanta 24. We've got 9.16 left in the third quarter. You're watching SIAC football on Flow Sports. Here in, here in Morehouse, BT Harvey Stadium in Atlanta. Morehouse has a nine point lead. And here comes Fleming again. Fleming has room up the sideline and he's out to the 38 yard line. So a nice return by Martin Fleming. Clark Atlanta with some good field position. Got 9 11 left in the third quarter. First drive, first drive of the second half ended in an interception. Looked like it was going to be a promising drive. And, Andrew Vanover ended that with the pick for Vanover. This is his third interception this season. We'll mark it at the 40, actually. 
And Clark Atlanta down by nine. On the shotgun. They hand it off this time to Black. And good gain on first down. It's probably one of the best get efforts Blackman has had throughout the year. Only good for six. Just here at the second half for Blackman. Second and four. Here's Blackman again. Lost the football. Blackman lost it. It's picked up by Morehouse. Oh, they're going to call him down. Rich Freeman better be careful. He's going to get a penalty. And on the 47-yard, 46-yard line of Morehouse, the Morehouse coaches cannot believe it. And now they're talking about it. Was he down? Is it going to be Morehouse football? Well, this is a big call in this game. The way that this game is going, Morehouse has the momentum right now. Blackman was on the ground. I thought at the end of the play, he had lost the football. And of course, you don't have an instant replay here, so this is all comes down to what the referee saw. And then, unless anyone had a different look at it, I don't think they're going to change the call. And Clark Atlanta clapping, and Morehouse fans not going to be happy about this one. And by contact, and the Boo Birds come down here from the Morehouse contingent at BT Harvey Stadium. It was a close play. I saw him hit his backside as he came down. Are they going to replay the down? Now what are they doing? What now? What is going on? They had spotted the ball at the 46-yard line. Now they're back to the 45. Was there a penalty on the play? Okay, I have no idea what's going on. All right, so I don't know what they did. So I'm, Well, now they've moved it back. Wait, wait a minute. What is going on here? I know it's the last game of the year. It's all the way back to the 43-yard line. I'm not sure what is going on here. So apparently it's second and seven, and I don't see a reason why it would be on the 43-yard line. In any event, Stafford's pass is complete to Roberson. And, oh, big hit at the end right here midfield. That'll be good for a first down. So Edward Nelson with the hit. That one good for seven yards. It's going to be first down. I, I still... I'm telling you, the ball was first. It was at the Morehouse, the Clark Atlanta 46. Now here's Stafford. Nice move. Get to the Morehouse 45. Five more yards for Stafford. Stafford, his best rushing effort of the season. Seven forty-five and counting here in the third quarter. Nine-point lead for Morehouse. Stafford will hand it off, and Mikael Young gets blasted at the end of the play. End of the third forty-seven yard line. They're going to lose a couple. So Young and Stafford. I think Stafford probably was going to pull it out. And could not get there. Five wide outs for Stafford. He throws it, and it is caught by Roverson. What a play. As he dives at the 30-yard line, and that's going to be a first down. Good to the 30. 17 more yards for Stafford. Page went up to, to tap it away, but Robson was able to get to it. Well, 
What a game for Stafford. He's got 260 yards. He's 21 for 34. Stafford, again, incomplete. Trying to hit Jerry. Like Vanover was there in the area. Second down. Six thirty remaining in the third quarter. Time running short. Clark Atlanta trailing by nine, but they're knocking on the door again. Young in the backfield with Stafford. Four wideouts for the Panthers. Here's Stafford, right side, complete. Pass is good. That's Kendall Wimberlin. Look at him pull. The pile inside the 20, still going. And he's down to the 18-yard line. I'll actually mark him. I'll mark it at the 18. One good for 12 and a first down. These two teams have just gone back and forth all day. Stafford to throw again. That one is good to Wimberley. Back-to-back -back completions for Stafford. That one down to the 13-yard line, so add five to the total. Stafford is coming up on 300 yards passing. Got 545 left in the third quarter. Nine-point lead. Here's Stafford. Up the sideline for the end zone. It is caught. What a play. By Kendall Wimberly, touchdown Clark Atlanta. The fourth touchdown pass of the day for Stafford and Wimberly goes up and gets it. 18 yards, his fifth catch of the day. And it's a it is a three-point game. Mobile to make this a two-point game. Extra point is up, and it is good. So a 60-yard drive for Morehouse. With 528 left to play. It is 33-31. Morehouse on top. The SIAC is the first NCAA league to have a league-wide apparel deal with Nike. Fans can get official Nike conference gear at www.thesiec.com. Clark Atlanta fans get your school's gear at www.clarkatlantasports.com. Morehouse fans get your school's gear at www.morehouseathletics.com. Kendall Wimberly, his fourth touchdown reception of the season. He's got over 500 yards receiving this season. And Stafford, 22 touchdown passes. He's got four more today. We've got a two-point game here in Atlanta. What a football game. We still have about 20 minutes left. And once again, Clark Atlanta. There were 10 of their last. They've lost 16 games the last two years. 10 have been decided by seven points or less. They're in that window again. From the 10, and it's picked up by Knuckles, and Knuckles will get hog tied down to the 30 yard line. Kenneth Morgan with another tackle. And so Morehouse will have it at the 30 yard line. More updates on the two big games today the West Division being decided at Tuskegee. Right now, Miles with a 20 to 6 lead on Tuskegee. Two minutes and 28 seconds are left in that one. It looks like Miles is going to win the SIEC West for the second consecutive year. And meanwhile, we still got a 7-6 game between Albany State and Fort Valley State. 5.21 left. We'll start this drive at the 29. Sanders pulls it. Looking to throw for... That pass is caught. Reese Knuckles on the reception. Out to the 39-yard line. And that'll be good for a first down for Morehouse. Miles Brown was also over there, but ends up in the hands of Knuckles. The 
Sands with a big day throwing the football. Sims fakes the hand off the Dunn. Now comes out. Going to his right. He gets it away and passes caught by Dunn. And Dunn, and we got a flag at the 45. We've got two flags now at the 45. It looks like an eligible man downfield. Syriac, the guilty party. So five yards back for Morehouse. We'll take it back to the 34. So first and 15 now for Morehouse. 4.30 left in the third quarter. A two point lead for Morehouse. Sims hands off to Bailey, and Bailey has the corner. First down and more. Frank Bailey Jr. down the sideline in the Clark Atlanta territory. 46-yard line. Going good for 20, and another first down for Morehouse. Forty-six yard line, first down. Trips to the near side. Three wide receivers. Bailey in the backfield. Gooden, Chaba, Knuckles. Three seniors with his receiving core. Here's Bailey again. Tries the left side this time, and he is stacked up at the forty-five. And Justin Wade and also Terrence Harris, who we haven't mentioned much today. They up to 39 yards rushing. Santo Dunn, 19 carries for 105 yards today. Good game here for Santo Dunn. Four wideouts for Morehouse, 319 to play. Kind of game is in store here. As we get down to the fourth quarter. Here's Bailey. Pulled down. And I'm surprised there wasn't a flag there as Jackson made the stop. And they will lose a yard back to the 46, the original line of scrimmage. Tim Carey for Bailey. It's third down. Clock is moving at 238. Nine point lead here. Well, two point lead now for Clark Atlanta for Morehouse. Here's Sims looking to throw under pressure and Mixon able to get to him. He's finished off by Brandon Summons and a big sack all the way back to the 40 yard line. A six yard loss. And that's going to force a punt. Second sack of the game for Clark Atlanta. So now, Clark Jerry back deep. He's standing at his own 25. Getting ready for the punt. Comes to Della Moore. The punt here, and Jerry makes the fair catch inside the 25-yard line. Flow Sports is the innovator in live digital sports and original content. Flow Sports streams thousands of live events on the network's 20-plus channels. Go to www.flowsports.tv to start watching today. Flow Sports will exclusively stream over 50 SIAC events this season. That includes the, the basketball tournament that is coming up in the spring. Basketball season just getting underway this past week. Many women are expected to do well, and the Morehouse men were ranked 25th in the preseason poll. On the first down, the handoff goes to Young. And Young gets absolutely nothing on first down. Eight, 
Young lost a yard to the 24. Second and 11. And Stafford again in that five wide receiver formation that has been the weapon today. Stafford trying to throw it to Jones. It's incomplete. It'll be third down. That's his 39th pass attempt today. Third down. Stafford under pressure. Throws it deep, and it is incomplete. Went through the hands of Jones. And Stafford tried to get to Jones the first time, and then on the second attempt, Jones let it go right off his shoulder pad into the turf. So three and out, that's one of the few three and outs we've seen today. If we've seen one, I don't think we've seen one today. In any event, Racy Knuckles standing inside his own 40. And take this punt from Woods. One minute left. So a three and out there for Clark Atlanta. And all the players coming out late. There's Woods. His punt is short. And Knuckles let it bounce. And that'll be down to the 45. So with 149 seconds left, Morehouse will start this possession at the 49. See you today from Ed Morehouse. And I got a chance to go by the Martin Luther King Jr. International Church over here on the campus of Morehouse. Morehouse nursing a two-point lead. And Bailey gets the handoff, goes up the middle, and Lewis finally stops him. The 48-yard line. And good for seven. Second down. Second down. Gooden goes in motion. And Bailey again. Left side. Got the first down. Still going. Inside the 40. And he's still pushing the pile as he gets to the end of the 34-yard line. So a first down for Morehouse. Going good for 13. Bailey now 58 yards rushing. On 12 carries. That is the end of the third quarter. What an entertaining game it has been. They'll switch sides for the final time this season. They'll put the fours up. Morehouse, 33, Clark Atlanta, 31. You're watching SIAC football on Flow Sports. Begin the fourth quarter. Morehouse facing first and 10 at the 34-yard line. Morehouse with 393 total yards. Clark Atlanta at 337. Almost 700 yards of total offense, and we have a full quarter left to go. And the handoff left side to Bailey. Bailey's cut down to 32. Another tackle by Morgan. Two yards for Bailey. He's got 60 yards rushing today. They'll bring up second and eight. Five tackles now for Kenneth Morgan. What a great game. 54 points in the first half. At just 10 in the second half, in the third quarter. Sims quickly over the middle. Pass is complete to Gooden. Another catch inside the 20 to the 17-yard line. They'll mark it at the 18. 
That one good for 14 yards, another first down. Well, the 18 yard line, first down. Morehouse trying to extend the lead up by two at this moment. Here comes Bailey. Test the right side. Tries to cut it back. And Wade and Harris are right there on the stop. Trying to give him the yard to the 17. Actually, no gain on the play. Second down. Sims and Dunn in the backfield. You know, this year I've done nine games. I think I've done seven straight that have gone to the final quarter. And now we got another one here in the final quarter. Sims, free play over the middle. Oh, big hit at the goal line. That's going to be two flags. Kevin Williams wants to know what? Pass intended for Chaba. Hit him in the chest. I think that's going to be a hidden defenseless player. The top was on the way down, and Williams really popped him at the goal line. He was coming down. Chava took a big shot. He's over to the sideline. Call here. 12:56 left in the fourth. Sounds like defense. So. Just the second penalty called against Clark Atlanta, but it allows Morehouse to have first and goal near the 10 yard line. They'll mark it at the nine. So first and goal. Well, 56 left to play. It's Sims on the run inside the five. He scores. Touchdown, Morehouse. Nine yards for Sims. And for Sims... That's his first rushing touchdown this season. And Morehouse now holding an eight-point lead. Might go for two here. It would make it a ten-point game, but they're going to bring Sedella Moore in and try to make it a nine-point game. Moore. Kick is good. Season high in points for Morehouse. 12.48 left to play here in the fourth quarter. You're watching SIAC football on Flow Sports. Blackman on the return for Clark Atlanta. Takes it to the 19-yard line. He bobbled it early on. So 1242 left to play. It's a little bit easier to see the, the clock now as the, the sun has gone down. Well, Miles did finish off the 20-6 win over Tuskegee. They win the West, and they will uh, compete against either Fort Valley State or Albany State. And still have that game showing at 7-6 in favor of Fort Valley, in favor of Albany State. We'll get you an update on that game a little bit later. First down for Charles Stafford. Stafford throws it incomplete. 
Nobody out there in the area, and Rich Freeman wants grounding. That was the 41st pass attempt for Stafford today. But they are trying to get the penalty against Stafford, not getting one. At the 19-yard line, first down, second down. That pass is incomplete. Tried to hit Young out of the backfield. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Okay, third down for this Clark Atlanta offense. Oof. Sputtered a bit here in the second half. An interception, a punt, and a touchdown. Stafford up the sideline. He's got Wimberley. It's incomplete. And there's no flag. And that's going to be a three and out. Second straight three and out. All three passes. Second straight time. So the Maroon Tigers have... Come through in the second half, just holding Clark and Lamb to seven points. Kind of like arena football. Whoever gets the most stops wins. Right now, Morehouse is in front in that department. Nine-point lead. High punt. It is taken by Knuckles at the 48-yard line. And that's where Morehouse will start this next drive. With 12-16 remaining. So not much done there. Again, still Albany State 7-6 to six on top for Valley S State in the third quarter. It's Kentucky State 34-28. Winners over Central State earlier today. And still looking for a Benedict Lane score. Let's see if we can get one from Albany State. Right now, 12:41 left. Albany State up 14 to six on Fort Valley State. So, be a rematch if from last year's title game, if Albany State can hold on. Right now, they have an eight-point lead. Here, Morehouse has a nine-point lead, and the first handoff goes to Dunn, and Dunn is wrapped up immediately. Justin Wade and looks like Xavier Lewis made the stop. For Clark Atlanta. The Roadhouse tries to work on a little clock. Loss of a yard. Doesn't have four yards on 20 carries. Three wideouts for the Maroon Tigers. Dunn still in the backfield. And he'll get the carry. Dunn goes up the middle. And he is hit at the 49. So he got back to the original line of scrimmage. It's going to be third down. 21st carry for Dunn. Lumpkin back in for Brown. Nine-point game. One for two early on in the game. And getting it for Morehouse now. Looming large. Sims looking to throw. Over the middle. Complete to Kachaba. Kachaba is hit. Clark Atlanta territory. As Harris with another stop. Out of the 46. But that won't be enough for a first down. As they pick up five on the play. And a quick three and out for Michael Sims in this offense. And Lamore's in the game. And ooh, very catch is called for and made by Jerry at the 15 yard line. The market at the 14. 10 11 to play here in the fourth quarter. You got to think that Clark Atlanta's got to go perfect 
the rest of the game. They've got to they've got to score. They want to put themselves in position to to win. They might get two more possessions after this one. These two offenses have worked quickly. First down from the 14. And off the Blackman, and Blackman has room across the 30, and he is tra- dragged down at the 34-yard line. It's one of the longest runs of the season for Blackman. That one good for 20. In fact, that is his longest run this season, 20 yards. This Clark Atlanta offense has really not done much anything running the football. It's been all throwing it this season. Stafford up the sideline, complete. That one good to Jerry. And Jerry with another catch after the 47. Back to back first downs. That one good for 13 yards. Stafford is now over 300 yards passing. Thirteen for Jerry. And Morehouse just picked up a 15-yard penalty, so another personal foul. That's down to the 38-yard line. Stafford to throw, right side. Blackman is wide open. He'll have room to run. He'll step out of bounds at the 30. We'll call it the 32. And good for six. Stafford now at 314 passing. He is 26 of 45 for 314 yards. Everything we expected from this game. A great game between these two rivals. And Charles Stafford lead the Panthers back to victory. Here's Fleming, his first carry of the game. And Fleming will get inside the 30. He's still going. Great effort by Fleming as he gets down to the 28-yard line. That one's going to be good enough for a first down. First carry goes for four yards. First down inside the 30. They've struggled when they've gotten to the 30-yard line and beyond. Here's Stafford looking to throw. Goes up the sideline for Sanders. It is intercepted. Underthrew it, and Vanover has his second pick of the game. And another turnover for more out for Clark Atlanta. That's 14 now for Charles Stafford this season. And that might. Be the one that. Puts an end to Clark Atlanta's comeback attempt. Still plenty of time left. 8.24 remaining. Andre Vanover, who's also the SIAC 100-meter and 200-meter champion. Making plays defensively for Morehouse. Second turnover for Clark Atlanta. And here comes Bailey trying to right side. Frank Bailey Jr. All the way out to the 19-yard line. I'll move the chains again. And out to the 20. So Morehouse up by nine. Now I'm going to work on the clock a little bit. As Clark Atlanta held it to seven points here in the second half. In a game that had been, was back and forth early on, Morehouse seized control in that third quarter. And off to Bailey. Bailey tries the left side, makes a move around Harris. And Baldwin is there to make the stop along with Harris. They'll take it out to the 22-yard line. Again, some more extracurricular activity after the play.
Yeah, so for Bailey. So Morehouse has a 150-yard receiver and a 260-yard passer, a 100-yard rusher, and a second rusher about to be at 100 yards. That's 74 right now. Sims looking to throw. Watch out from behind. He's sacked inside the 20. Kevin Williams, who's made some big hits already today, makes another one inside the five-yard line. It's a five-yard loss. Third sack for this Clark Atlanta defense, and a big one. Clock continues to move. Third and 12 coming up. Sims does a great job of hanging on to that football. Morehouse, four for nine on third down conversions today. And we got a timeout taken. All roads lead to Spartanburg, South Carolina for the 2019 SIAC Volleyball Championship from November 18th to the 20th. Follow the SIAC on social media at the SIAC for full coverage. So a third and 12 coming up here for Morehouse. They lead by nine. So these... Uh, Final week of the regular season. Miles will take on either Albany State or Fort Valley State. Albany State with the lead in the third quarter. Ohio State 73-14 winners over Maryland. Minnesota 31-26 over Penn State. Florida beat Vanderbilt 56 to nothing. Number 12, Baylor, earned a win over TCU in three overtimes, 29-23. And number two, LSU with a 19-13 lead on Alabama. That's in the second quarter. Here's Sims on third down. Sims scrambles. Now throws. Incomplete. Trying to get it to Tremel Gooden. That would have been an amazing catch and fitting for him. They have the opportunity here on senior day. Another... Another punt is forthcoming. Still more to punt. Clark Atlanta should get great field position. 6-18 remaining. Still more. This punt. Great punt. Jerry catches it at the 42. Goes straight up the middle. Breaks a tackle. He's into Morehouse territory at the 45-yard line. So some life here. For Clark Atlanta, they'll have terrific field position. Stafford, that have a short memory, just threw that interception. And we got a flag down at the 45-yard line. This might be sportsmanlike conduct here. Depending on which side it's on, this is a huge play. Wow, that's against Morehouse. Rich Freeman talking to one of his players. It's Mark Marquise Dewart. Clark Atlanta will have it at the 30-yard line of Morehouse. So six minutes left. That is that is big because Clark Atlanta they don't take too long to score right here. They are right back in it. Man, well, they've gotten to this 30-yard line. They have struggled. Stafford looking towards the end zone. No, it hit the ground. Kendall Wimberly, the intended receiver, but he could not hang on to it. It would have been a touchdown. 
man, that would have been about as quick as you can have it. As we got 5:58 left in the fourth quarter. Stafford, right side, hits Blackman out of the backfield. Blackman breaks the tackle inside the 20, bounced out of bounds to the 15. That'll be good for a first down. They haven't run that play a lot today, but that was effective. And again, Stafford, over 300 yards. Well, he's been on Flow Sports the last two seasons. He's produced. Again, another 300-yard passing game for Stafford. Stafford, Blackman again, inside the 10, jumps inside the 5. What a play by Blackman. That'll be first and goal at the three-yard line. Three hundred forty-one yards. First and goal from the three. Here's Stafford. Left side, incomplete. Almost threw another interception. And that could have sealed the deal for Morehouse. Well, Stafford has lived dangerously all season. He is a gunslinger. There's no question about it. That was his 48th attempt. Sorry, 49th attempt of the game. Stafford looking. Blackman makes the catch. There's a flag now inside the five. I wonder if this is against more it's against Morehouse for being offside. So you're gonna move it down about the one yard line. It's offside against Morehouse. Still second down is Lofton. Offside. Second and goal, 504 remaining, fourth quarter. Stafford under center. You don't see that a lot. The quick throw to Sanders. Sanders diving. Got it. Touchdown, Clark Atlanta. A one-yard score. That's his third catch, third touchdown catch of the game. And now another flag is down. And now it's a three-point game, 40 to 37. Another penalty against Morehouse. Another penalty against against Morehouse. Mark Atlanta trying to make it a one-point game. Stafford rolling. Lofty. King has got it for the two-point conversion. It's a one-point game with 456 remaining. My goodness. Charles Stafford once again. Leads his team down the field. And this game is not over. 79 points here today in Atlanta. 4.56 to play. Well, what a way to end the season here on Flow Sports. Seemed like just yesterday we were at Miles, we were at Fort Valley State. And they were playing Miles to begin the season. And here we are 10 weeks later. And a matchup that but nothing but pride is on the line. A 79 point afternoon. And now Clark Atlanta will get to kick the ball from midfield after the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty.
One point lead. And this one will be out of bounds. Actually out of the end zone for a touchback. All eyes are on the Eastern Division as the champion will earn the chance to host the 8th annual SIEC football championship game on November 16th. Fans visit www.thesiac.com for official conference and championship game gear. Get your tickets today. Miles is in the championship game. We'll take on either Albany State or Fort Valley State. And right now, last update was Albany State still holding a 14-6 lead. On the 25, it's first down. There are flags down. And I think Sims was there on the run. And this is going to be offsides against Clark Atlanta, or this is going to go against Morehouse. Talking to Tim Bowens. Oh, take him back. Another penalty against Morehouse. That's 12 today. 4.45 and counting to go in the fourth quarter. And again, Clark Atlanta in a tight, tight game. Here's Dunn, right side. And he is pulled down by Harris at the 21. Harris made another stop. Clock will continue to move. They actually got, actually marked it at the 24 yard line. It's going to be, it's going to be second down. Five yards for Dunn. He's up to 110. Two point lead. All right, one point lead here in Atlanta. Sims in the shotgun. So Clark Atlanta went for two. They got it. And we got another penalty. And is that going to be against Morehouse again? It took too much time. Number 14 against Morehouse. Second and 15 now. After Dunn had just gotten the ball back up to the 25. Oh, well, Bradley in the backfield with Simpson of that last play. Now it's Bailey. Senior day here at Morehouse. Here's Bailey, right side. Again, across the 25, over the 26-yard line. So a big third down coming up here. It's third and nine. Miles four for ten on third down. Three minutes left, a one-point lead for the Maroon Tigers. Clark Atlanta, once again, involved in a tight game. Looking for its first one of the year, Morehouse. It's been a disappointing season, but they're trying to salvage it with the win over their rival. Sims on third down, under pressure. He throws. It's caught. Reese Knuckles at the 35-yard line. A clutch catch for the senior. And the progress will get into the 36. That's going to be a first down. That one good for 16. And a huge play. Sims got out of the pocket. And what he's been doing most of the day. Finds his man on the run. And now if you're Clark Atlanta, you got to think about using your timeouts. 2.20 left. Sims in the gun. He'll be down to about 2.08 when they snap it. Bailey hit in the backfield. 
That's a Glover. 206 left. So Bailey hit that to the 34 yard line. That's the first time out for Clark Atlanta. It'll be Miles taking on either Albany State or Fort Valley State next week. Still the update. It's 14 to 6, Golden Rams on top of Fort Valley State. Want to send a special thank you for to all of the SA the SIDs that have helped us out throughout the season, getting us the rosters, the depth charts, any other information that we've needed, they've gotten it to us. Want to thank. Everyone at all the stadiums we've been to this year, Fort Valley State here at Morehouse, Savannah State, what a great atmosphere that was a couple of weeks ago. Of course, Tuskegee and Clark Atlanta as well. And, of course, at Miles. All season long, just great hospitality throughout the SIAC. Another successful year for the SIAC on Flow Sports. We're down to the final 206 here in Atlanta. A one-point game. Here's Bailey. They try to run it again. Bailey breaking tackles. Big hit at the 40. Then of the 41-yard line. That one good for seven. Clock will be stopped one more time by Clark Atlanta with 156 remaining. And it'll bring up the biggest third down of the season for both teams. Backyard brawl here in Atlanta. The cross-campus rivalry coming down to the final 156. Next season, Edward Waters will be joining the SIAC. Clark Atlanta. What a win this would be. They can come back and get it. 156 to play for Morehouse. A year worth of bragging rights on the line. A chance to go to four wins and salvage what has been a disappointing season. Expectations were high. Got to get it to the 46. It's third down. Clark Atlanta has one timeout left. Just completed a third down conversion earlier. Big play right here. And Chaba goes in motion. Sims, pump fake, looking to throw. Now he's going to run for the first down. He slides. Where do they mark it? Oh, they marked it at the 45. It is short by a yard. He's short by a yard. He, he ran and he slid too early. It's where you start your slide. It's not where it ends. And unfortunately for Rich Freeman, Sims did slid, started his slide at the 45. Sims and can't not believe it. And it's going to be fourth down. And Clark Atlanta will use the last timeout. And this is a huge, huge call here. They needed five yards. They got four. So it's now fourth in a yard. You got to think that Morehouse is probably going to try to go for it in the game. But if you go for it and you don't get it, you give Clark Atlanta the ball inside your own territory. Do you punt it and make them go the full length of the field with no timeouts remaining? That's the question. If he had gone head first, he would have had the first down. The game would have been over. Instead, well, I mean, they could have marked it at the 46. It was close. So what are they going to do? It looks like they're going to punt. Now, also, if you're Clark Atlanta, you got to watch out for the fake, and you've got to watch the ball. Rich Freeman says punt the ball and it's going to be down to the Morehouse defense. 
Got Gooden on the field. Again, remember, you have to watch out for the fake. There is, Jerry is back there. Sedella Moore will punt it, and we've got a, is that going to be offside? Is that against Morehouse? Is that against Clark Atlanta? If it is, the game is over. Illegal substitution against Clark Atlanta, and that's going to end it. Unbelievable. They had 12 guys on the field. They tried to run them off quickly. And once again, Clark Atlanta is going to be snake bitten. As Morehouse will take it. Clark Atlanta has no more timeouts. And with 120 left, Morehouse can kneel it. And what has been one of the wildest games of the season. Morehouse is going to win off a penalty. Just the third penalty called against Clark Atlanta today. And legal substitution is going to end the football game. And Clark Atlanta is going to end the year 0-10. And Charles Stafford, who threw the ball for over 300 yards, is going to be on the losing end once again. Final minute. What a season. It comes down to the end, and Morehouse holds serve at home. The third straight home win over Clark Atlanta. And they cut the series deficit to 13, 51, 38, and 3. And Morehouse will won six of the last nine matchups. That is it. Clark Atlanta does not have, Morehouse does not have to snap it again. Clark Atlanta jumped off sides in that last play. But just forget about it. It is over. Clark Atlanta once again loses a close one as Morehouse ends the backyard brawl with a 40 to 39 win over Clark Atlanta. What a football game here at BT Harvey Stadium. I want to thank James Crenshaw, our producer and everyone that was a part of the SIAC on Flow Sports this season. I am Kamari Darrington saying good night from Atlanta. Once again, Morehouse 40, Clark Atlanta 39. This has been SIAC Football on Flow Sports. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday, and we will see you once again next season.